Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over the Dart Pad. Now, the Dart Pad is a somewhat replacement for the Dart Editor. The Dart Editor is going away, so this is the best we got, basically. Dartpad.dartlang.org. In the future, we might want to use a really a complete IDE, but for right now, while we're learning, I think this will actually do. Okay, so here is your code. Hit Run. It outputs on the right upper corner. Any errors will be on the right lower corner. Okay, what happens is you hit run. It sends the Dart code over to the Google servers. Their servers go ahead and compile it into JavaScript and sends it back into the browser so it can be read. All right, so if we just write print, hang on a second. Let's just say print two. We run it. We know activity is happening when that little, did you see that little spot right here? Watch again. So it gets sent over to the servers, compiled to JavaScript, result is sent back, and we can read it. If there's an error, it'll tell us right there. If you click on the um, wrench on the side of it, it'll tell you where the problem actually is. Okay? You still got a problem right inside of there click on that create local variable D it hasn't it was just a mistake okay new pad reset to the back to the original don't really have to worry too much about this title right inside of here it, it's just arbitrarily created itself and here are some samples if you want to take a look at them as well so this is not a full-fledged editor like the dart editor was and it's it's just intended for teaching um, or experimenting or playing around, but you can actually do a pretty good set of programs here. The only thing that I don't think you can do is import packages. F core Dart functions, I mean Core Dart libraries you can import, but you can't import any packages because there is no pub package manager built into this. I don't know if they're planning on doing that in the future. Again, I think this is just for more of testing and learning than anything else, so I'm not really sure one way or the other. Okay, thank you.